there, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. So, my lovelies, do I have a little treat for you today? We're starting a new show. Can you believe it? I've heard you cry out for a new show. <laughs> We've watched Snog Marry Avoid. Nobody wanted to marry you. We've watched Trini and Susanna's What Not to Wear. Daytime tweed with an evening chiffon. And we've also had a little peep of Patrick. Why didn't you come up? It's because you're really flat chested. I said make her 10 years younger, not look like a cha. 10 years younger. But it is time to take it all the way back to the turn of the century. In fact, one might say the turn of the millennium. Uh. <laughs> uh. Do you want gay sh And today, my loves, we are going to watch Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. I know. <laughs> I know, right. I know, right. So years and years and years ago, this was a kind of like one of a quite a groundbreaking makeover show, actually, that kind of put gay people at the forefront of this fashionable idea. Especially back when, even at the turn of the century, the turn of the 2000s, it was still kind of like, mm, shouldn't really be gay. Still a bit naughty. Jesus doesn't like that. First sin was intercourse. Nowadays, I would like to think that we're a lot more progressive, but like, maybe it's just because I exist in a progressive friendship group that maybe it's a lot more progressive for me. But I still think the wider world outside of this group still kind of hates everyone LGBT, don't they? Mm, not really good. And I have no idea how YouTube's going to react to me saying the word queer, 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 and putting it in the title of this video, queer. Because today, my loves, we're going to watch a group of guys called the Fab Five, which are meant to be, as far as I know, meant to be like experts in their industry. I think there's one for like hairstyling, there's one for like cooking, fashion, clothing, all that kind of exciting stuff. And originally, the original run of this, which was remade into Queer Eye recently to put it on Netflix, originally it was about these five queer guys taking a straight guy who was a bit hopeless at something and turning him into like a fully fledged member of society which mostly involved getting a wife or a girlfriend and those sorts of things there are a couple of famous faces that we still know now in the entertainment industry i believe carson cressley is one of the original fab five i have never watched an episode never watched an episode it was a little bit before my time i was still very young in the 2000s and 2000 like 2000 2003 i was still very young i would not have watched this if it was on tv especially not with family around my loves i think that's a bit of a relatable content moment for all of my lgbt audience out there you can't watch queer things on TV, they'll think you're gay. Get out of my pub! So a little bit of backstory is my love. Queer Eye for the Straight Guy was started in 2003. So it really is just into the 2000s, my love. So we're going to expect to see lots of 2000s decor, lots of 2000s fashion. I just can't wait to sink my teeth into something that's hopefully a little bit more light-hearted than Quite a lot of the stuff we watch on this channel, shall we say. Although, I don't know, we haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I might have to retract those words swiftly. Good heavens. Well, my loves, today we're going to take it all the way back to episode one of season one. Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Are you ready, my lovelies? Let's pop in the Ohrhanger. Oh, and let's get some fashion. Oh, gay fashion. All right, are we ready? Oh, I'm excited. I love starting new things. Oh my gosh, the music. Gout, gout, gout. Uh, oh, is this their van? Oh, Our the fan five. Adam Wait. Zalt, on Adam Zalta, a very okay. successful Long Island businessman in the computer field. Five foot ten. Oh, look! Waist, 29 weeks. Ooh, <laughs> Tragikistan. <laughs> uh, poor thing, God bless him. Oh my God, a lot of hemi. His, like, eyebrows are bushier than those dudes on Sesame Street, you know, the gay couple. Ernie! Bert Ernie! Ernie. Yeah. It says here he gets his hair cut three times a year. Oh, God. <laughs> now, it says they have a kosher kitchen. I wonder if he has a kosher your closet, like if it's all just Isaac Mizrahi. <laughs> the problem we have, gentlemen, is that Adam has missed his wife's birthday again. He wants to throw her a belated surprise party to make up for it. So we gotta plan a little party. Okay, I need to actually just digest what we've just seen there. That was the most intense information overload in like, how, how long was that? 49 seconds. It's like, oh, we're meeting Adam. He's getting a haircut three times per year. He's missed his wife's... I can't say that. Susan will get me. He's missed his wife's birthday. But also, I do kind of... I don't know if I'm going to be... Maybe I'm... Oh, should I say something like problematic yet brave? <laughs> I feel like us as LGBT people have to grow up so fast and really like pay attention to those around us, pay attention to ourselves and actually keep on top of things that when I do see like a straight guy being a bit hopeless, like forgetting a birthday of the most important person in his life, I am a bit like, come on, get a grip, sis. Right, come on then. Right, the Fab Five girls, they've jumped into this van and they're going to accost this man somewhere. I can't wait. Oh, oh Gay Street. Oh, look, a flip phone. Kyan Douglas. 
head, food and wine. Culture! Ooh! Interior design. Oh, hello, Carson. Action. <laughs> oh, yeah, attack him with a hairdryer. Oh, don't go to Straight Street. Don't bother. Wow. Oh, Carson. Oh, right in the eyeball, girl. As in Queer Eye. I get that. Wow, can we just say something there? Like, I love the idea that they kind of painted that as like, these men's lives were black and white before the gays arrived and everyone was colourful afterwards. I love that. I think that is such a cute little way of being like, yes, actually, LGBT people in the world are filled with rainbows and loveliness. We're also quite dark and mysterious, but they do bring joy. It does bring joy. We do bring joy. And that's the Darjeeling. I'd like to think we bring joy. Ooh. The amount of nostalgia I'm getting just from like the type of trousers they were wearing in that intro, the type of phones they were using, flip phones. I was a Motorola Razor queen. Hello, Moto. Back in the day, absolutely loved my Motorola Razor. Right, anyway, let's, okay, queer eye girls. For the straight guy. Oh, they're on the run. Disco. It was like Move being over, a, bacon. There's assaulted something by a gay club. Nice unibrow there, big guy. Oh, thank, oh, thank you. you. Oh my god, it's like a Toys R Us crackdown. I love oh. my unibrow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's like a Toys R Us crackdown. <laughs> wow, okay. It's like a Toys R Us crackdown. I love oh. my unibrow. Straight guy, Adam <laughs> Zoltan. They're not touching that unibrow. Oh, the God, audio is terrible. Out. Are you a biter? I'm a biter. I'm a kicker. Oh my God. Oh, that's a monobrow. That's a monobrow. It's never Get rid of the monobrow. Unless you're like Go. Frida Kahlo or Groucho Marx. It's very Frida Kahlo. It's very neither. terrible. <laughs> what happened? I can't believe this. Tom, interior design girl. They were a bit like touchy feely with him then. I'm not sure quite how I feel about that. But then again, different time, as we know from Trini and Susanna, my loves. Apparently, everyone was just like. <laughs> is there a decoration? This is what you see when you come in. Holy daycare center, Batman. What on earth? Ugh. Get this out of the way. Oh my goodness. Secret recipes. Okay, cookbook. This is so chaotic. Blair. Go in the kitchen. I hope that's supposed to be chocolate milk. Where are the shoes, for God's sake? There's not like a sh man sh shoe to be found. We love our American cheese. Yes, we do. From the government. Wrong answer. From the government? Wrong. Sorry, is there really government sanctioned cheese in America? Answer. Adam! Let's come up here. Empty. This is like a whirlwind. Like, how intense has this been? This is a minute. We're minutes into this. Three minutes into this. And it's just like intense, 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 intense. Oh, we're coming in. We're just completely disrupting your home. I mean, all right. Kyan grooming with a bin bag. Empty. This, oh. is, this is like one, one of my favorites. Wow. Casual. It's, yeah, I should say so. Wow, you wear Casual. this to, you wear this to big, big dinners, holiday parties. Oh. I can't believe this is the living room. This is so terrifying me. I've never heard of these towns. Gretzky and Turcote. Are these cities in America or? It looks like your decorators three. These are players. Players. Old for, players. They're for what? Out there for hockey. Hockey. Ice hockey. <laughs> mm, not familiar. No, no, not no. Familiar. Oh, on the floor. Aren't oh, these no. supposed to be for outside? I think this stuff is for outside. You seem to have a little bit of a tile situation here. I have the motif oh. of no tiles here, no tiles here, it all matches. Oh, I like it, I like it. It's kind of a retro thing. Right. These are for outside, Karen. I swear to God, these are for, they make these for outside. What is happening? That's, that's, that's why they're waterproof. Oh my God. Do you use this? Wow. wow. Save time. Shave with the car. You shave in the car. And you, you use that while you're on the john. Like if your friends come over? Where do they sit? Oh, they don't sit on the floor. My friends don't come over. <laughs> Look, you got dirty in your own oh, house. Oh, That's a bad sign. Know, right? <laughs> Perhaps you would be the world's largest collector of one-sleeved tuxedos <laughs> yeah, with giant holes in the back. This, I know this is very like Helmet Lang, 
two years ago. That I, I have absolutely no idea. I am completely speechless. I have absolutely no idea what's happening here. So this family is uh, clearly having like maybe some like homely situations. Like they're kind of like clearly they've wanted to treat their kids to a lot of toys, make their kids like lives really exciting, give them lots of stimulation that they've kind of maybe then let their like Maybe their kitchen floor deteriorate. That's the vibe that I'm getting. Maybe like their clothes aren't the best. Like they're not the fa most fashion forward couple. I don't like the idea of like being on the toilet and blow drying your hair though. That doesn't seem safe. How do you have plugs in your bathrooms in America? So in the UK, you have like one, two prong port for like shavers, I guess. Do you just have like full on plugs in the bathroom in America? The, I, I guarantee you. there's some toys in there. Those kids probably can't stand at this point. Right. Sure. Oh, are we right, gonna, right. Are we gonna be the gay guys that take away the children's no, toys? No, no. <laughs> oh my. Anything for the adult CD well, movie wise, because that's I all I have is Mommy and Me. Barney. Do you remember that children's book, Where the Wild Things Are? Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Karen, <laughs> the madness has to stop. Does anybody like this black chair? <laughs> We're having a lawn sale. Is there a head here? What? Oh, oh, my, oh my God. God. <laughs> this is like Nightmare Central. <laughs> no, what is that? Get it out of the house. Okay. Out of the house. Bye bye. I oh. see straight people! <laughs> Come on, Karen. We're gonna let you go for a little bit and we're gonna get this under control. You guys are the best. Okay. You, you guys should not are be the here best. for me. Oh, hi, Karen. Bye, <laughs> Karen. Good luck. Okay. I need to ask you some questions about this party. <laughs> out into the garden bye we'll see you in the wilderness yeah there's a forest over there go roam that for a bit yeah see ya <laughs> i am genuinely speechless about this this is the most chaotic show i thought janice dickinson was chaos girls i guess this is kind of like similar vibes i guess they were almost at the same sort of time weren't they there's only a couple of years between them i wonder just how many hateful shoes i'm gonna see in this show okay come on then okay you've missed your wife's birthday two years in a row two, no, maybe no. seven or eight. Oh, oh my wow. god <laughs> what we got to do is come that up is with terrible. some food to serve we got to think about music we got to think about ambiance flowers something tells me you probably haven't had a big adult party here <laughs> No, never. 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 Okay, let's take a look through the kitchen here. So, hang on. Is this kind of what happens in every single episode, I'm guessing? There's, like, an event or something. They, they've called in this special team of the Fab Five to, like, redo something and give them, like, an amazing event. And then they're just, like, whisked away into the night. Is that kind of the vibe that I'm getting? That's the vibe that I'm getting. Is that the vibe that happens? What's your favorite thing to cook? Do you have strategies? Chickens. 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 I'll do a chicken... Chicken wings. Yeah, chicken, chicken wings. wings. Uh, buffalo, wings. Chicken, buffalo wings. And uh -huh. uh, once in a while, well, also buffalo wings, a, uh, a barbecued wings, and also uh, chicken. I, I make a good lemon chicken. He's so much more handsome when he's shaved. Chicken. I understand that you're not big about presentation or being no fancy or fussy. No fancy. Okay, but so how about this? This is, a, this is a special celebration for your wife for her birthday. So what if we come up with some things to cook that are a little bit more luxurious, things that are going to look kind of pretty, th things that are look kind of cool and impressive. Okay. Do straight guys just not get that, like, by nature? Do they not think, oh, I want to impress someone. Let me zhuzh everything up a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Let me put on, put on the fashion, girls. I've got gout. Do they not think this? This is going to be an insight into straight culture that I never expected and also probably never witnessed. Think things that look kind of cool and impressive okay. for the friends, in addition okay. to being delicious, and maybe some things you haven't delicious made Delicious and impressive. That sounds um, good. Th that'd be kind of fun? That sounds like a lot of fun. These curtains look oh, at like least they he's came up for free it. with, like, Cracker Jacks. What the hell are these What's things? a Cracker Jacks? Walk me through your morning. You wake up, you have some coffee, it's up. time to get ready. What happens in the bathroom? Take my bath. Okay. And you you you, you clean, cleanse clean yourself with, with something. Soap, with ivory. Soap. Uh, ivory soap. Ivory soap. Okay. And I do my hair. Well, well, how do you cleanse your face? Let's get back to your you know your facial regime. Like this. Water. Water. Soap. And you, ivory soap. Ivory soap. On the face. On the face. Okay. Hey. Oh look. It's very secure. Oh. You can just take the safe with you. Oh my goodness. Let's talk about the shaving or the lack okay. thereof. Sha this, the, the editing in this show is so bizarre. It's so chaotic. Like, why are they talking to him about shaving and like bathing in the? Who wakes up and takes a bath in the morning? Who baths in the morning? Do people do that? Am I convinced? Bath? A bath in the morning? A bath? I understand a shower. I understand like a wash. But a bath? A bath is like luxuriating in the warm, cool waters <laughs> of Darien Lake. It's very strange that they were talking about like using soap on the face and then being like, oh, you just take the safe, girls. Interesting choice of editing there. So I think this guy is about to have a revelation at the idea that 
Washing your face isn't just a bar of soap on the face. It's like a little bit of a routine. You have to use very specific soaps for the face. Things that aren't going to scrape away your outer layer of flesh, shall we say. Good heavens. And also rehydrate, replump, re-age. I wonder how he's going to react. That. Shaving is one of the simple things you can do to make it look like you've given some thought to your look. That's you know? very true. And then, you know, the organizational bins, which um, are obviously forbidden in this household. As glamorous as for it Bolton. is, as, as you see it now, that old world charm, we're going to try is. to freshen it right up. We got some organizing to do. <gasps> look how we're many... Do... Did you see how many plates this family had? I've never seen that many plates outside of a shop. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. That is all that's left. Oh no. I think we just have to put our hands up on this one. We're gonna do this color, which is kind Look of Look at great. that red this carpet. This, 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 these, these are pretty cool, and, and the color in these is, is great. We do not see indoor shutters very often in the UK. Ah, uh, that's a scratch that. Maybe in like very countryside places and tiny villages we do. But are these like bug bug nets? Is that what they call like mosquito bug buggly buggle buggles buggly girls? Right, so we're going to use that as sort of a springboard for the color. And I'm going to paint the backs of all the bookcases in that same color and a pair of doors here that yeah, separate the off. adult space from the yeah, children's right. space so they can be playing while you're entertaining. Ah, uh, here we go. Well, now okay. there are the shoes. Ooh. Of course, they're under all of the sweaters. Yeah, right where the shoes should be. Right where under, they should under be. Under the sweater. I mean, it's, I think this could be a good piece for oh, the living room. I think you could, you know, stand wearing some different colors. It seems like you like, you know, very like, you know, olive brown, slate gray, slate blue. Don't be afraid of color. Lord knows I'm not. But well, you know, it's about mm. about you and what you're gonna look best in and what's gonna bring out, you know, black. the best features. Black. Everyone looks great glasses. in black. I don't know where to go with all this stuff. To me, a gift is a gift. You give it to them and right. it's a sure. gift. I don't present. That's a sure. problem I guess I have. She wants it wrapped. She wants it to look oh, pretty. So much she work wants the for anticipation. Gift. I already went shopping for it. Prune butter. I feel like that is something that is... That sounded a little bit tongue-in-cheek, but there is such truth in that, is that a lot of guys just think, oh, it's in the bag, happy birthday, good luck, bye-bye. Please suck my p now. Like, it's very that, isn't it? Whereas everyone likes a little bit of something. Like, they like to be made to feel special. Everyone on this planet likes to have a little bit of something to make you think, oh, this person has thought about me, and they've really thought about something I enjoy. It's such one of those minimal things. Like, you get a gift for someone. Wrap it up. Put a little card with it. Do something a little bit extra as opposed to just buying them a gift and handing it to them. Do you know what I mean? Just buying an object and handing an object. It's not the same. Like, this is the reason why in the animal kingdom we see birds, like, doing lovely dances, clearing the forest floor of debris so that they can show off their best dancing. Problem. We see lots of this. Is it called peacocking? I guess it is called peacocking and preening in the natural world. And I feel like we've kind of lost that as humans somewhere along the line. We're all like, just expect women to wear like head to toe, gorgeous makeup, massive bosoms, lovely hair, shoes, clothes. And then the men are like, I didn't wrap her a gift. Oh, it's so much work that I won't even bother go. Problem. I already went shopping for it. Prune butter. Oh, mm -hmm. prune That's good butter. Once when we were prune dating. Prune butter. Uh, I gave her a pearl. I took a big thing of bazooka gum. She loves gum. Okay. And I put the pearl inside one of the bazooka wrappers, and I gave her the whole bazooka, and of course it was on top. We ended up making a necklace out of the pearl. Great, so maybe some uh, matching earrings would be great for that. Sorry, did he just say I gave my girlfriend a pearl wrapped in gum? I mean, okay, that's a little bit of creativity I didn't quite expect, but it's very like a pearl. In gum. Or was it the gum wrapper? Either way, a pearl in gum. This is this diamond. It's wrapped in fettuccine, girls. Diamond! I don't want diamond ravioli. This right, is nice. The children in the forest. Who bought this for you? I think I got that made. Look. You had this made. Look. Are we shiny black. Custom couture? Yes. Yes, so. this was custom made. Custom Very made. Nice. Good Very for you. Nice. Oh, oh, you got oh, no. part of our DNA. Can you taste the dust in the air? I'd rather not. This oh. right now, the button's a little low and it looks a little dated. But you can put the third button in here and you can okay. make this a three button suit and update it. Really? Just having an extra button can update a suit? Men's fashion is so easy. Got What's gonna happen now? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh kidnap girls. Oh, look at the children in the garden. <laughs> They're taking him to New York. All right, off we go. Bye. Oh. Straight ahead. Sorry, are we going to wax this man's body slit? Adam is hairy. He's oh. got one eyebrow. He loves his unibrow. 
He loves it. It would be very nice if there were two. I think his hair grows overnight. Gets... Wow, look at that woman's it's hair. There were two. Look at that woman's hair. Wow, that is so, that's very like, um, what's the phrase? Very like sitcom mum hair, isn't it? Oh, that's so sweet. I think his hair grows overnight. It gets hair so wide and bushy. Adam must have a fear of barbershop. And the way he dresses, I get it. Two pairs of jeans, one pair of shoes. A new t-shirt would be big for him. He looks like a clown. Spa treatments are expensive. Okay, right, so that was just a scene of like, everybody come on the show and rip this straight man to bits. I mean, I'd be there being like, Oh, and also his feet are disgusting, girls. Spa treatments are expensive, but you know what's more expensive? Divorce. 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 Oh, very true. I know you're kosher, so we won't do any um, shrimp and goat's milk facials for you. A shrimp facial? Oh, no, don't even. You know what we do when we, when we, when we pluck it off? one by one like this. Oh, we'll just put them in a baggie like your tonsils. Oh, stop it. There'll be a new man. God. Greenhouse. Spread. what's this? He's going for a spa paddles. day. We need the paddles. <laughs> We're losing them. Okay, He's got a sense of humor, which I is I like cute. body brushing, which is very exfoliating. Body brushing. Very good. Also, it's good for your Is he naked under this towel on TV in front of, like, people? Also, why is there just, like, a fallen down poster and like bumps in the wall. What spa have they taken him to? Body brush it all. Gwyneth Paltrow will be pleased. I'm just gonna brush the hair on your back. back. Just like curing my pony. It is, isn't it? My pretty pony. Does that feel good, Adam? It does, does it? Wait till I brush your ass. <laughs> I suppose they're, they're comfortable enough to show that they're gonna go on TV with like queer guys go because I bet you back in the day this had like a bit of a rap especially in like 2003 that early sort of era of I feel like people actually forget just how much of an effect social media has had on the acceptance of different types of people on this planet which is ludicrous to suggest it's even taken all that time but there we are the idea that like a straight guy has gone on this show and is really comfortable about like everything that's kind of happening has is kind of trailblazy for the time if we think about it that's kind of sad like like, looking back now to think, like, it's that way, but it is really trailblazy. I'm piping some wine. a mousse of foie gras yeah. onto some crackers. Do you have anything in the cracker a department? A mousse of foie gras? A mousse of foie gras? That is disgusting! A mousse of foie gras? <gasps> disgusting! Ooh. Ulium. Fresh olives. The perfect party snack girls! So we're gonna slurry on this seaweed thing. We're gonna wrap him up like a giant baked potato. And then the heat actually helps to extract Oh my the... goodness. Why is he grabbing him by the hair like this? Oh my God. <laughs> Why are you doing that? <laughs> this poor guy is just like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I feel a bit naughty. Why are you... out of the body. Oh, a buttock. This is quite an intimate thing. If you were saying to me, like, oh, we're gonna, like, give you a massage and a spa treatment, wrap you up in foil to bake you at 180 for 70 minutes. I'm going to cream. Whilst fully naked and three other people are in the room, I'm gonna be a bit like, and a camera, I'd be like, I'm gonna need you to all leave now. <laughs> you could not pay me enough. You could not, girls. This look is very Christian La Lacroix. And you're all ready for the Oscars. You know, a simple Terry wrap. Maybe very, a little necklace, a little very Versace. Here. Obviously, we have the major have unibrow going on. Yeah, how are you going to do this? With the tweezers? Or with oh, they've wrapped him up so he can't scream. Waxing? <laughs> Which or one's most painful? Tweezers, okay. slow and <laughs> slow and torturous. Like I said, the eyebrows are probably the only thing that I'm nervous about. Right. Oh, don't be nervous. It's okay. okay just oh, here we go. Hot, right? Don't move. Don't move. Stay calm. Don't even think, Adam. Don't if, even think. If you move, you could be permanently disfigured. That's not correct. Oh, oh, on the eyelid. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Now you know why. Oh, <laughs> that didn't hurt at all. They don't even here. know. Oh, God. Isn't that terrible? <coughs> that is dead. People aren't going to recognize you. You, wow. you look different. Did you lose weight? Wow. Did you shave off your ear hair? <laughs> Oh, hideous. All of it disgusting. What is oh, that? Oh, well, actually perfect. that... Perfect for that. Nice. It's cool, right? I think it's a good piece. And... Oh, <laughs> what is that? Oh, no, it's like...
like a cat's been sick on a garbage truck, but make it Ikea. No, I'm not having any of that. I must get another drink. And Domain is like the perfect place for like antiques that aren't antiques, which is great. I like it. That is one of those things about these kind of shows that I still have a problem with. It's very Trini and Susanna when they're just like, this is the place where they do this, but they also don't do that. So it makes it great. And it's like, but what, so what do you mean? Domain is the place where they sell antiques, but they're not antiques. So they don't sell antiques is what you're saying. Is that great? Or are they lying to you? Ooh, mysterious women on the game. It's a chofa. It's a chair and a sofa. Oh, right? and Isn't a it perfect? Sofa. Relax. Yeah. Karen, go make me some dinner, bitch. <laughs> I think everybody should try. Right. Should have one of these. You it's really relaxing. You're looking good for 38. This right? is, looks so stressful. We're both in our mid 60s. You'd never know it. We're like the Siegfried and Roy of mm -hmm. fashion and skincare. It's kind of hard to get up after all that pampering, isn't look it? Look at that hair. You look like the Reverend you know Al Sharpton. No one rolls me into the shower and right. Well, people don't do this for you every day. <laughs> You're looking a little oh, Sean Cassidy right now. Right? All this feathering going on. You're like Rocky. Come on, go get him. Go get him. This is not relaxing. How this. does it feel, Adam? <laughs> with the clay coming off. Uh, I feel like I'm getting clean. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a new feeling for you? <laughs> Are you able to reach everywhere? I'm fine. If you want, I can come in and put my scuba gear on and come in and hose you down. We have to find a coffee table. Okay. An end table. Um, oh, pillows. an end table? Don't tell Olympia. I don't know how I'm going to tell my family and my friend. Oh, a dusty grey chaise lounge. Why is everything this, like, dust colour? This, I think this will be this, Look at this shot. This shot is so ochre. It's just oh, everywhere you look, it's ochre. Yeah, maybe we'll see if they have this in a bigger size. What do you think about beads? Is that too like Zsa Zsa Gabor? <laughs> I think that might be the one to go with. Zsa Zsa Gabor, I love that. Throws instant texture. I think that's it. So here that we are, hideous. her Schleifers. Are you feeling her good? Her Feeling good after the spa. Are you ready to shop? I'm ready to shop. Okay. How often do you go shopping? Never. Twice a year, three times a year. Once every two once years. Once a decade. Oh once every two, goodness. three years. Once every, no, that's voting. These are really popular right now. It's a D-ring belt. So basically, I'm say just something belt. And what happens is, is you just, you know, thread it in here, and then it goes behind through the second loop of the hardware. And then you're done. And that way, you just know, like that. it adjusts in oh, size. Wow. And it's fun. It's a little bit more modern, and you just look a little more hip. So you're only 38 hip. years old. Right. You're like, you need to be more of a hip dad and more of a hip husband. He's only 38. He's got one of these like faces that you can't quite tell how old they are. Do you know what I mean? Like you could say this man was like 45 and say, oh, he looks really good for his age. Or you could say, oh, he's like 29. And you'd be like, oh. <laughs> do you know what I mean? This is fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. This is like a little peep into history. I absolutely hate what Carson is wearing here. What is this? It's like having IBS at a picnic. Disgusting. I'm not very into that at all. But he does seem to understand the concept of shape, which is nice. And maybe a hip belt. Yes. And get a little in touch with the times because you're like... A leather You're still jacket? living in the Nixon administration. With an outside this seat. is like really cool. Do you like this? I kind of like it. But when I, mean, I go out and when I go out and buy something like this, I right. can never go out and look and say, "Hey, this is something that I should try on." You know what? You should just if you like something just a little bit, try it on. So now we learned our first That's lesson: true. try things try on. Things That's very true. Very very true. Oh. Okay, tailored trousers make such a difference to a man's physique. I don't know how this witchcraft works, but literally a pair of actually right hemmed with all the lines in the right place. And it's just instantly like, there was that phrase, which I don't think I quite agree with, but I think a lot of other ladies in the audience will really enjoy this phrase. Lingerie to men is a suit to a woman. It's that kind of like, oh, what are you wearing? Uh, like very that kind of thing. Personally, I don't, I would like to see my men in lingerie. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think that there's certain types of, um, oh, I am going so flushed here. How can I say this? I like specific kinds of underwear on men. Why am I saying that? Move on, Lux. I do think a good fitted suit can make a lovely impression and also kind of make someone feel a bit powerful. But I will also say it's like a rule of thumb for me. I don't like suits on men. I like them on women to make them look powerful, girls. In conclusion, men in hot underwear and women in power suits, please. Solid dark colours, very slimming, yeah. Yo, very Louie, you got me straight tripping. Straight tripping? Oh dear. Ooh, a busy pat. Where's your daddy? You are. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh no! I feel like I'm watching something naughty. <laughs> Did your daddy make your pig hole, oink? <laughs> Um, I think we're going to turn his uh, back hair into a little flocati in the entrance. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Here they are. Here Let's they have are. a look at some apronage. Culinary Here we go. Connection. Here we go. That's a good one. Shiitake happens. 
Sushi in the Sky with Diamonds. Excellent. I think this could be a good one. Oh, look, I, I think Adam already has this. Yes. <laughs> I think they have this. Actually, no, what they have, they have this. Oh, they, they just <laughs> have that. Have. And it's much larger, too, exactly. I think. You know, I think it's more Adam than it is me. Are you ready for the procedure? <laughs> Comments. Did anyone tell you how to tie a proper tie? No, never had one. Fit? Never oh. had anybody teach me. Not even before your bar mitzvah? Not before they used to make it on themselves and... I'm slap good. it on slap you. It on me. You're a man now. That's Figure it. it out. Let me just show you how you should do it. So basically, it's just one, two. Right. Okay. You're gonna flip this around. You're gonna flip it, slip it, and reverse it. You're gonna stick this one down. Oh, he's never gonna pick this up in and one And then go. before you tighten the knot, crease it. Okay. Hold that crease between your thumb and your forefinger, and then you'll always have a perfect dimple. And a narrow tie is good on you because it creates. Very subtly, it creates a narrow line. That's a narrow tie? That's a narrow tie? That, to me, is not a narrow tie. That is a wide tie. But I will actually say something here, which I think is quite important. I feel like there is this strange, what's the word? Like, because we associate suits with power and power with masculinity, there's one of these things where it's like, if you aren't taught how to tie a tie as like a young growing up gentleman, I do feel like there is that kind of like longing for that father figure that's like, this is how you tie a tie. I don't know how to explain it. I've never felt it, my loves, but I've come across plenty of men in my life who have that kind of feeling of like, my father never taught me how to do that, or I never had anyone in my life to tell me how to tie a tie. And there is this like, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if I'm articulating myself right here, but there's that feeling of like, if you don't have someone to tie yourself a tie, there's like a sort of uh, lament associated with that, like a lamented feeling. Let me know what you think about that. Has that happened? Do you agree with that? Have I made a correct judgment and commentary there, girls? Oh. So it makes you look thinner and you look like, you look a hundred pounds thinner already. Look out, uh, Marcus a bit much. Schenkenberg. We've got a, there's a new girl in town. Let's, let's twirl. Oh, that's let's a nice a color on him, that blue. Walk. Oh, this is very, this is a bit 70s for me, this I styling. I feel better. I feel a little better. Yes, I feel better. I feel, I feel confident, better. right? So good. Pearls! Diamonds! Pearl test. Rough on your tooth. I think these real. are going to be perfect. Don't scrape your teeth with pearls. Um, it goes really well They're with in Claire's the accessories. And Disgusting. What do you think, Ted? I think it's great. Hi, Ed. Hello, that was easy. Hey, how you doing? How was it? Good. Oh, my God, look. Did you shop till you drop? We shopped. We shopped our fingers to the nubs. Oh, my God. So are you ready for a stuff. haircut? I'm ready to take it all off. Right on. Take it all off, baby. Also, I think for men, like, a, a decent haircut makes such a massive difference. Depending, obviously, your style as well. Like, I do like my guys with really long hair really long blonde viking hair is kind of hot but also mohawks <laughs> adam doesn't go to have his hair cut very frequently it's been months since he's this guy cannot stop barber, massaging so his what happens head. is he's really lost all the shape and what i think adam needs is a really strong masculine cut now these are going to be nice what will that favorite be like? of the calla lily so there's not a better way for adam to impress her than to have these out yeah you I know agree, she'll agree. walk in see her favorite flowers I think these are perfect oh the great thing that is an excellent way. One excellent way to immediately inspire some sort of wonderful thing. You bought a nice gift for someone, give it with their favourite flower. Like, instantly. That's not just like, it is this gift I got at the shop, guys, this box. It's like, oh, I also know that you like this. Mm. Flattery will get you everywhere. And paying attention is so hot. Great thing about orchids is that they're, they're, they're just, the result is special. There's no maintenance. I mean, you just, you take this, this can sit up, this can be beautiful on the front entrance hall table. Okay, guys, I think we're all set. We figured it out. Oh, it's like the Macarena on meth. This is so... What do you think? I like it. Do you? Oh, I, I, I'm not, I haven't made How do you think this is going to play tonight for the... Uh... For the big surprise. The bar thing. I think she'll be very surprised. I think she You're will going be too. To the bar. Like, Adam, what happened to all my hair? Maybe <laughs> brown, the hair on top of my head, the mop. She's going to be beside herself. This music. <laughs> Gout. <laughs> I absolutely love this kind of music, but because it's so low quality in this show, I am a little bit like, oh no, stop it. But I cannot wait. Rowley and I are going to this wonderful little event next month and we are gonna dance for like nine hours solidly to the most hardcore music you've ever heard, girls. I cannot wait. Oh, Carson's getting all of the- what Carson has picked out for you. All of the jeans. And you. And hey then guys, to all. Well Alrighty. So the Here party, you were thinking about wearing a suit, you definitely-
Uh, has his haircut made a big difference? It just kind of feels like it's the same but shorter. Hmm, maybe styling will make it different later. What do you guys think? When you talk to me about wearing a tie, right? Um, it's important that Karen feel like this is a special occasion. Just these little things that you're doing. Wow. When you're all shaved and you're taking care of your skin and you're dressing great, heads will turn. Trust me. I feel like this was before the skinny fit suit happened. Do you know what I mean? Like, it feels like, for some reason in the in the olden days, yeah, 2003, feels very much like large suit jackets were like a thing. Do you know what I mean? Like big, shapeless suit jackets. Like now, you'll see people, especially like male celebrities, I can think of Ryan Gosling, who else can I think of? Uh, Robert Downey Jr. Wear all these like slim fit suits that just really look streamlined and like elegant. I feel like this was just a little bit before that time. I'm not sure. Oh, retiling girls. Do you know what I have? What I do find interesting on this show is that they are all doing the work. Like, they haven't just gone in and gone, oh, we need all of this to be done. And then some team member comes in and just does it for them. Like, that guy was retiling their floor. This guy is, like, doing swatches on the wall of more tiles. Do you know what I mean? Like, they are actually taking them to places. Unlike with Trini and Susanna, for example, who were like, this is what you need to do. And then just let them go off and do their own thing. And then they were like, no, no, Trini, let me grope you. Daytime tweed evening chiffon. <laughs> So, um, see what All you've right. learned. Tell me what you like, what you're reacting to. It's oh, look, more gray. Right. Just what you don't need. Now <laughs> you're you cooking. There? there you go. Nice. Excellent. A plus. I like that. You can have him pick a tie for this one? Pick a tie for this shirt. That's no pressure. No pressure. Don't worry. We're here for you. Stop, look, listen. Excellent. That's great. Very yeah, good. Was always that just go a with... guess? That looks You awful. could do that with your... <laughs> you could always just go for black. I'm sorry. I know, I kind of see what they're trying to go for here. This kind of like idea of like, because he likes lots of muted tones such as slate greys, dark blues, what they were saying earlier. So Carson is trying to make him be like, right, colour explosion, shape and texture. But... Personally, if I had like a friend and they were like, I'm wearing a suit and I need to wear this and this, I would be like, no, please do not wear a vertically stripy, multi-colored shirt with a black and white miniature checkerboard tie. Don't do it. Wow. Jacket that we picked out for you. Oh, yeah, and an see. ochre that... coat. Why? Look, Why look do they work done. together? That... Tell me. Why do they work together? Why do they work together? We gotta hang this up on your refrigerator at home. Kind. Oh yeah. Thanks, hon. You're a real lifesaver. That was exhausting. Oh. When we bought the house, we were supposed to fix it up four years ago. I, I don't ever think I ever saw a house like this. Oh, the toys. It's the house of horrors. Blow it up and rechange everything. It would be oh nice once in a while to walk into a clean house. What time are the guests arriving? Uh, about 7 o'clock. Wow. 7 o'clock. Oh, we got... I feel like buying a house is so far away from me right now. I can't imagine just being like, we bought the house and then just... Uh, like, absolutely not. So many surprises for Karen. <laughs> well, what's most this is one of those things. Okay, okay, can we go back and look at this? This is very, very, very 90s, 80s, 90s, like, I don't know, early 2000s. This kind of like stuff on shelves. Like every shelf had to have stuff on it. I'm just looking around my room. I don't actually have anything here at the moment. But it's just like, why were we so obsessed with having like lots of stuff on shelves, like ornaments and doilies and bits and bobs and all sorts like nowadays i feel like things are a little bit more minimalistic or if you're gonna go maximalist it's all very like i don't know chiaroscuro art pieces no that's not quite correct because nobody i don't think a lot of people own chiaroscuro <laughs> chiaroscuro should i say art pieces but it's very very telling of how different times have changed like when i see lots of stuff on shelves i just think clutter yes it can be like nice family photos and candles and all this i just think oh it's a bit much like it's too busy do you know what i mean that's just my personal preference though on style like can Contemporary living is much more subdued. I don't know. Maybe it's because of the value of what wealth is now has changed. I feel like back in the day, in the like 50s, 60s and 70s, when like grandparents would be like, We're putting the fine china on the Welsh dresser girls. Ah, uh, the Davenport. Like it was to emulate rich people having like all of their things on display to show how rich they are. Whereas nowadays, it's kind of like stuff doesn't make you richer. At least I don't think stuff makes you richer. Like have a few nice bits. Yeah, like a few photos with your families and stuff, but not every shelf has to be covered in something. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Has time changed, do you think? Let me know what you think. Uh, uh, uh. Well, what's most on your mind about the whole thing? I think the toast of that's to Karen that I'm going to give her. Coming out to Karen. Coming out, I think it's a new me, so it has to be something special. Right. Telling Coming her out. that you and I are running away to New Mexico to ride a Harleys. <laughs> 
podcast and stop lusting. <laughs> okay, here it is. Okay. Oh okay. my God, look at my door. The door is a different <laughs> color. Change. Well, it's very Elizabeth Arden behind the red door. I love it. Should we go in? Hello. It is a little Hello. bit Elizabeth Arden, actually. Oh, oh, oh my God. Okay. This is your this home. Is a real, oh. like, <laughs> She's dead. It's a real house. It's, okay. it's adult living. Do you have, like, Oh, it's very ochre. Everything is brown or yellow brown or baby poo brown or baby sick brown. Be careful not to eat your baby. Oh, brown. Beige and brown. It's a whole new thing. Am I going to live like this? Yeah. Wow. wow, what a difference though. Oh, it's giving very like regal English lady on the game. <laughs> Look, these shelves. Just stuff. You put the... It kind of looks like a government office or something, though. I'm not sure I like that. We room together, but they... they well, a lot of pieces. I'm yeah. shocked that I had this many pieces. And and, and the, piece, the, the, the pieces from Domain work beautifully. I mean, this piece, the thing that's so great about it this is, is that it has a vintage feel to it, and, and we're using your old sofas. Right. So it, we didn't want to have things that felt too new. When you're doing a lot of these small pieces, and... The you didn't want to have things that felt too new in a makeover show about bringing people into the new era. Oh! I do love hearing people talk like this because it's very fluff words. Do you know what I mean? It's very like fluffy, fluffy, fluffy cushions, scatter cushions. It's very that. When you're doing a lot of these small pieces and they're in, against a white background like this, it feels very stark and naked. But when you when you put that color in the back... So we made sure to have five of them on display at the same time. What it does is it creates a really nice sort of... It sort of unifies everything. Shells, color backgrounds, highlight objects. This I always wanted a place like this. I love this. Uh -huh. right. what is I bought this in New Orleans. Had a hand carried bag. <laughs> an elephant. Had a, wow. What oh. we did in here was this is cork. Is it going to be okay without the trees? Do you miss the trees? <laughs> oh, yeah, the trees. Like the, same the, tre trees though. Well, the trees. Well, it is. It, it, it's it, it, well, we, it brings it all together. We pulled up the tile from underneath the refrigerator. Oh. And then we filled, we filled in the tile. Oh. So works, right? She's a recycling queen. Yeah. I mean, it's a functional yeah. kitchen. It's a functional kitchen. Functional kitchen! Functional kitchen! What? I mean, well, I suppose retiling a floor for a kitchen does make it much more functional. But the idea that they were almost going to say like, oh, put bar stools in your kitchen to make it functional is kind of amusing to me. Kind of funny. What is this music? Okay. <laughs> Keep walking. Right, here we go. Keep walking. The closet. You're going to gonna be calling me Patty Duke because I'm like the miracle worker, okay? Who's, who's Patty Duke? Do you love? Oh my gosh, the real closet. Are you overwhelmed? Oh, color coordinated woman style. on the game. Da, 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 da. Uh, uh. Is that pre and post? Oh, very good. I took your old sport coat. Remember this bad right. boy? Anyway. It was two buttons and it was like dorky. I reworked it. I had a third buttonhole cut oh. into it. And professionally finished, so now it's a three-button suit. We're gonna put you in this for the party. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, another button has been added to a jacket. It's gone from the '90s to the 2000s, girl. I kind of love that. Like, how easy is that? Like, one extra button means it's no longer like old and has been and dirty. Oh no, it couldn't possibly. Fashion has been done in here on this day with this button. You want to do a little fashion yeah. show? Shoes. Oh, fashion real, show. Wow. real shoes for real people. Oh my. And basically you need a good quality brown pair, oh. a good quality black pair. And mm. since they're a loafer, they're somewhat dressy. They look like a pump, but they feel like a sneaker. No, that's something else. They're somewhat dressy, <laughs> but you can also yeah, eight inch these. platform stilettos. You can wear them with jeans, right. you know, for some of those dressed down, but still nice looking work looks we talked about. Mm. You could wear the suede. That way too. I do want to so, say, look how like shaky zoom this is. Obviously, this is the first episode in this entire like dynasty of queer eye for the straight guy. It's very, very like haphazard. It's very like there's just a man with a camera like shaking it at them. <laughs> kind of cute to see. Kind of like very hearkening back to of its time, isn't it? And to be honest, this is the first guy as well on this show. Like, he's not even seen this show before. Probably doesn't even really know what it is. They just applied to it and got on. Probably really also had absolutely no idea what he was in for. Whereas I feel like people on later seasons would have absolutely understood. Black, I wouldn't wear as much with a casual look, but you could. We'll get you some <laughs> blue jeans. These have a wash on them. They're decan Y. And they're just a little bit more modern Donna looking. Donna New and York. You can wear this with a beautiful blue button-down shirt, wow. which dresses it up a little bit, so you have some credibility when you're meeting clients. That's much better. Ass check. It's there. There we go. Ass Baby check. got back. You can bounce a quarter back. off of that. Give Look at that. 
Look okay. at little Mr. Confidence. Walk down there, do some runway. Walk down. <laughs> I literally said this earlier, like, why were suit jackets in this day and age? Like, it's just so big. Like, there's just so much fabric. That would look much nicer if it was a bit, like, tailored in at the sides, potentially. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Now pivot, wait for the Fashion. camera. Fashion! <laughs> On walk. the runway. Alright, work. Oh, he's quite sweet. Okay, I said name. walk, not march like a weird little troll. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't teach me that. You look super cute. Go get a shave Come on, hair cowboy, though. let's go. Alright, let's talk about shaving, okay? Oh. All right, so when do you think is the best time to shave? In the morning. Before or after the shower? After. Exactly, and why is that? Because uh, your hair comes out. Soft after the shave. That's right. The warm water helps soften your beard, right? So, having said that... This is very strange. You're just like talking to him on the toilet. <laughs> this is a product called Xur. It's a really great men's line. Zer. This is a botanical oil. Rub it on your fingers and a apply botanical it A botanical oil? Beard, what? Botanic? Right? After you do that, just right on top of the prepare pre-shave oil, you use your shaving gel or shaving cream. Yes. A little bit goes a long way. Let me way. just tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to start great on the getting sides of my off. face. I'm going to do my upper lip last, and I'm going to do my neck last. Because these areas are sort of problem areas for guys. And we just want to let the, the oil and the shaving cream do their job. So if we do them last, they just those products have a little bit more time to work. I'm starting at my sideburns and just short, gentle strokes. You know, when you're shaving, you're actually creating your sideburn. You just want to make sure that your sideburns are even. And a great way to do that is just take your index finger and put it at the very bottom of your sideburn on both sides. And then just step back and have a look. And mine are pretty even. You see that? Excuse me, gents. Hi. I have, would like to do a little bit of cooking. Oh, That was kind of sweet, actually. Kind of sweet. I feel like that's something that... It's very father-son. Do you know what I mean? Like... And not like daddy twink, but very, <laughs> very father son, which was actually quite sweet. Um, oh, that was a little bit heartwarming. I don't know why. Why is it heartwarming to me? Very strange. I feel like it's one of these things that's just like male bonding is so important, but also kind of neglected in a way, I think. I don't know. Interesting. Mm, conflicted feelings, girls. Really? Yeah. You want to kick him on down? Yeah. Okay. Can I borrow you for a minute, Adam? You think you got the idea? I think I got the idea. Go for it. Okay. Yeah, it feels a bit we have intimate to be like gras. shaving. Had to go all the way to Miami. Ship from Markey's International Food Mark Forum in Miami. We'll ship it to you. And uh, it's great stuff. This one alone is 50 bucks. <gasps> Crazy. Wow. Crazy stuff. And we've got three of them. And it's And disgusting. instead of just having pate or something, which people are pretty accustomed to, mm. we're going to turn it into a mousse. Um, whip it up a little bit with some white truffle oil and some Armagnac, stick it in here, and then um, we're going to pipe it onto some different kinds of crackers. That's interesting that we've heard him say, um, there. Like, I feel like we don't ever hear anyone say, um, on TV now. Do you know what I mean? Like, unless it's like, uh, I don't know about all that. Da. Do you know what I mean? Like, unless someone's, while someone's speaking and going, um, we don't hear that on TV much now. That's a really interesting thing uh and also onto some slices of black truffle that i put on here so you get the stuff in there black twist it up a little bit but not the fire take this, the moose. What's this and i was just thinking on these that we would do just a really abstract kind of a crisscross you know you want to do a couple of those let me try one of these. yeah do some of absolutely those. disgusting the fun thing about that you know is that you could make mistakes no one no. yeah yeah wait come here this is for you Look. Oh, yes, don't forget that. <laughs> you gotta be a Beatle fan, no? Yes. Okay, I'm terribly sorry. It got Carson will have my head on a platter if I ruin your shirt. Okay, back to work. The one that I thought was particularly kind of decadent sounding was the idea of piping foie gras mousse on top of pieces of black, slices oh, yeah, of black truffle. That's sort that of like looks luxury so on much top better, of luxury. But also, it's disgusting. And I thought what might be good on that would be a currant. A cur Tiny little fruit like that. Voila. <laughs> Do you think it's a combination that the people will like? I think it'll be different. They're yeah. not going to expect it from me. No? Never in a million years. <laughs> well, good. Check this out and tell me what you think. Now what's Hair. happening? Hair. Uh, oh, diamonds. Oh. Pearl earrings. Here you go. Why is... What do you think? Oh. Oh. Very nice. Matches the pearl. You like that? I like it a lot. You think she'll like that? I think she'll love it. You can slip it 
into your that box. Into the box. Yeah. Don't say oh, you've gone kind of. Well, it's Martha oh, Stewart is it the gum thing? Okay. That's our, that's our right. But there's a couple things we have we have to remind you to do before we leave. These get lit. These candles get lit. Get okay. lit, These goes here crunk. Get lit. Don't light those over there because they'll burn that wall down. Those are for when you need additional candles. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe if Just the power storage. goes out, light which those. with your electrical system could be any day. Right. Okay. <laughs> I peeled this off one of your walls. That's not I don't know what that was funny. doing there, but. You are special. <laughs> oh. 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 It's as simple as the dimple. Just put it in the tie. You're going to look like a million dollars. Everything's laid out for you. It really now is, I'm going to say, this is always your house. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, thanks. Oh. 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 You guys are really sweet. I want to thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye Hugs, not drugs. Thanks for everything. Bye. OK, thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for everything. Kissy You're welcome. Booze. Enjoy it. Have fun tonight. Oh, that is sweet. Bye, Adam. Bye. Take care. Thank you, guys. And the whirlwind has left. Goodbye, everybody. We're leaving now forever. Back to Planet Game. Oh. He's like, what has just happened to me? I'm just spy on the street. Adam never gives me a card. If he could do something really special for her, I, I think she'd be the happiest person in the world. A nice adult party, I think that would make her very happy. Adult There's a party. very big part of me that would like to live in a nice house and have people come in and say, oh wow, this is so nice. Not, oh, oh look, your tile's coming up. Oh, she seems very sweet. And what's all this fashion? Make it snap for you, jackasses, we've got to start. Sit down. Oh. Yeah. All of the gays live in luxurious apartments. It's actually true, all the gays that I know do. <laughs> oh, I love that your drink matches your outfit. People oh, yeah. listening, how are you? Oh, here we go. Oh, is this the party that he's done? Oh, oh my god. Hello, big boy. Ooh, oh, my God, took he took his ear off. Oh, my gosh, he looks so much better. Hey, Adam. I thought it was, thought it was you, so you. Oh. What? This music is so over the top. It's like yeah, Buster Move, too. <laughs> only tell him once and do the little pinch pinchy pose oh very good i haven't okay. seen so this much concentration it. since mary lou retton in 83. <laughs> is he writing a message is he spelling yeah. something out oh it's like a visit to the emergency room <laughs> right. Right. Just jabbing yeah the yeah let's not do all that Oh, that's so sweet. I should have been able to do this anyway for his wife. Oh, are they wait is wait waiting for party guests? Oh, the lady is here. The lady of the lake. Oh my God, who is this? Ooh. Who is this Family and friends, mummy. Hi, little boy. Oh, wow. She doesn't recognize him with two eyebrows. Yes, two eyebrows. Two eyebrows. <laughs> Only eyebrows. Look at those shoes. Okay. Um, do they have holes on the bottom already? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh, it. That's beautiful. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. There's a floor. I swear <laughs> to god, there's a floor. No more toys are allowed. Oh my god, it's all folded. Oh, yeah. she's going to love this. Gonna Her husband should like for five minutes. This is going to be, there's a long last. This long woman long is long. so charismatic. It's a fragua. It's cooked. It's not raw. I don't think he likes it. <laughs> oh, I think he's spitting it out. He's holding it in his hand. Wait, he spit out foie gras? Who needs wine? Well, yeah, yeah it's disgusting. You have? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't believe this is the same bedroom. I'm waiting for people to faint. It, it feels very that, doesn't it? Like, uh, what, overwhelmed? 
Wow. I feel like I've been very quiet because I'm just kind of like absorbing what's actually happening. The pacing of this show is so fast, but also it's very like, we're watching this man do this. We're watching this man do that. He is like glowing. He's grinning hey, from ear to ear. He did a great job. He's he the happy host. hostess. Yeah. Do you think you can keep this up? Of course. Okay. I was taught. I was trained. I gave him three hours. I was brainwashed. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was going to say oh, that. <laughs> he loves that outfit. Wait till Karen sees this. So you think Karen will be excited? Right, yeah, we have to see Karen, don't we, girls? You know what she knows about. Everybody take their wine glasses. With them. <gasps> Go in the back room. Keep, stay very quiet. Wait, because what's gonna happen? Surprise! Show the house first. She's gonna get surprised about the house. We'll be standing around over here. Say, oh, let's show. Let me show you the back room. At that point, you guys come out. And you say, surprise. Oh, oh, can you hand. believe he was making sure a lampshade was straight? I mean, that is unbelievable. Ooh, the nerves. Right, what's Cameron gonna say? What's she gonna say? Oh, he's so excited. Look at him. Hi, honey. I'm clean. <laughs> Hi, honey. Oh, look at that jacket she's got on. That's nice. A little bit of a Chanel moment. You look very handsome. I love the tie and the shirt and the pants. And the shoes are very nice. And the jacket looks unbelievable. She's giving me snaps. Oh. I cannot go over this. You can't even tell the red carpet anymore. I can't it's believe this. It. it all started from the, sh the window treatment. They told me he took the color from the window treatment. He's turning into a real Mario Buada. <laughs> yeah. Watch out for your job. <laughs> and now, the piece de resistance. The piece. He speaks oh, French. The piece de resistance. Piece de resistance. Oh, just, did you tell him to say that? No, he came up with that one on his own. Shirts up in front. The pants. My jacket. These are my business wear. Yeah, but you have to keep it like oh, yeah. this now as well. My casual. You put these boys up. I can't get over it. Oh, this is great. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Happy birthday! Oh. That was a bit disappointing, wasn't it? It was no swan reveal, was it? I can't get over him. Look at my snazzy husband. May he keep his new look at my new house. Yes, exactly. I'm just like in shock. I, I, I can't get over the floor. And my kitchen? Look at my husband. Look at, look my, at my husband. husband. He looks so great. Look at the presentation of the food. Is that beautiful? Beautiful. Food? You did that? I did that. I just thought. Right. They moved exactly. in like that. They're overwhelmed. They have all these kids running around. Now what they is know this section? This is going on a bit. Who's right. not going to want to keep that up? Yeah, no, well, crazy. yeah. yeah I hope. True. I hope. She, I hope she does. I think yeah. we all hit the hit the target. The nail on the head. Good job. So to speak. Good job. All right, kids. A toast is murder. Let's, a toast to the. <sighs> To the Congratulations. Joan Crawford was right. No wire hangers ever. Wooden hangers are the way to go. They provide even support and cradle your clothes in comfort and care. Razor burn can be a real drag, but it's easy to avoid no matter how rough your beard is. Just always use a sharp razor with at least two blades and a movable head. It's as easy as that. Bad lighting, an American epidemic. I've got the answer. Simple porcelain Edison socket <gasps> and a silver tip light bulb. Voila. Unless you're throwing a keg party, nobody wants to drink anything out of plastic glasses. Go to the discount store, you can get real glass stemware for about a buck a piece. And if people break them, who cares? Oh, thank you. Goodbye. Wow, my loves. Okay, wow, that was a nostalgia hit from somewhere beyond the grave. All right, my lovelies, I'm just gonna push my laptop away from me there and take out my ohringer and I'm going to say to you, what an interesting show that was. It kind of at certain parts still felt very, very new. Like they didn't quite know what they were going to do. Like that section at the end there where they were talking kind of like after the party had happened and the Fab Five were sitting around that table and kind of just being like, oh, and he also said that he'd do this. Oh, and they said they'd do that. That felt so long at the end there. That like couple of minutes of just like, complimenting felt like it was so long that it wasn't like a well-rounded wrapped up episode I don't know maybe it's because it was the first one that they're not quite sure I feel like once again we've seen some pretty dramatic like early 2000s styling like inside that house was very ochre that's the only word that's coming to my mind it was just so ochre and like dark beige but also just a bit like oh, a bit much for me like I no, not for me girls no anyway my loves let me know what you guys think about what we have seen today let me know if you want me to do more queer eye I it's kind of come into my zeitgeist a bit recently because one of my friends from um Germany well I say friends kind of acquaintances we used to know each other a lot more than we do now uh is going to be on the next version of queer eye in Germany which I think is incredible absolutely incredible I love the fact that this is still kind of going on this kind of like it felt a bit more uplifting than a lot of the other makeover shows we have seen i think i'm safe to say that let me know what you guys think because 
Maybe there's a few things I've missed. I'm not sure. Some of the language is a little bit like, because it is early 2000s. But otherwise, I, I don't feel like hideous having watched that. And actually feel like it was quite a nice ending. Like a nice change for my channel, girls. And with that, my loves, it is time for the Patreons. You can see yourselves scrolling past on the screen right here, my loves. Yes, you can. And we've got some Patreon birthdays, my loves. We've got Marla Galindo for the 28th. And also on the 28th is Guy Humphrey, my loves. I hope you both have a gorgeous happy birthday. And I hope you get everything you want. Maybe a surprise party in a very ochre living room. Mm. Today's Twitch shout out goes to Black Cat 2750 Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you standing woman on the go. If you want to be in with the chance of being featured in my next video's Twitch shout out, make sure you follow me on Twitch. It is like Saria Plays. And I stream two nights a week, Monday and Thursday, my loves. I will see you over there. Yes, I will. As always, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Aloria, Stephanie Niotupski, Laura Ali, Dr. Dream Morella, Steph Utech, Orcos Samoji, Abigail Ash, Beebles32, Caitlin Coating, Shell Herman, Christine Tina Kyle, ContraPoints, Crafty Leaks, Danielle, Dr. A, Jevod, Elizabeth Stone, I Go Go, Yubari, Jared Pavlovsky, Jen Martin, Jenny Hendricks, Caitlin Wright, Min Min TM, Moisten 98, Moriah Sherman, Nixie Tricks, Paula Rivera, Pink Caramel, Princess Lillian, Rachel VC Biscuit, Romano, Ryan Vita, Sasha Smith, Texi Texi RN, Slampire Queen, Succubus Lena, Travafall, Tromo, Victoria Corella, Victoria Waldock, and Zaya Naza. And with that, my loves, I'm going to leave it on the note of please don't buy ochre furniture. Unless you really want to, of course. Don't listen to me. <laughs> and with that, my loves, I will see you in the next video. <gasps> yeah.